Hey, what's going on you guys? It's Russ. I'm sorry I haven't been that active in uploading. I've been busy with everything going on with the new year and I've been paying close attention to the stuff going on with the Capitol riots. For those of you that aren't aware, there was a huge mob of white supremacists and neo-Nazis and quote-unquote domestic terrorists that went to Capitol Hill in Washington, D.C. at the request of President Trump and proceeded to attempt to storm the Capitol building, which is a federal government building. There were four people that died. I think it's probably at least five now, I don't know, but there was a woman that was shot because she tried to get onto the, I think it was the speaker's floor, and there was um, a member of Secret Service that shot her in the neck because she was trying to climb through the broken glass of one of the glass doors and they shot her in the neck. And that officer was placed on paid administrative leave like every officer gets when they shoot and kill somebody. I would say rest in peace, but honestly, she was asking for it. If you trespass on any kind of federal government property, you're kind of asking to be dealt with by law enforcement and by, this, you know, the FBI, Secret Service, etc. It's not a joke. The White House is the property of the federal government, so is the Capitol, and so is the Senate. And if you knowingly wander in there, requested by President Trump or not, you're going to be dealt with. You're going to either be arrested or shot dead. And you know what? If either of those happens to you, it's kind of your own fault because you chose to act like a complete dumbass. No offense. Those people were disgusting and the fact that Trump enabled all of that is even worse. But this is not about any... that. This video is not about any of that. Excuse me. This video is going to be about Nathan Larson's mother who is Dottie Larson. Now, this woman paid to have the rapey.co sites kept up, the friend cells, whatever the hell the links are, and she also paid for his plane tickets to go out to where this young girl was in California and kidnap her and get her on the plane, and I'm sure the rest of you know what happened. He was arrested for kidnapping a child. And his father was also arrested for assaulting an FBI agent. But the thing of it is, if they can arrest his dad and they can arrest him, then why the fuck can't they arrest his mother? She's just as guilty. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know if there's like not enough evidence against her or if law enforcement is not aware of who she is. But there needs to be some sort of charge brought against her as well, because she is equally as responsible for all of this as Nathan and his father are. I didn't even know who his mother was, to be completely honest. But now that I am aware, that's why I am making this video, because I just now found out. And... I hope that they are eventually able to arrest her. I am very, very sorry for the delay in uploads, you guys. I've been very, very busy. I've had, it's just been, it's just been a nightmare. Like I've been doing a lot of things. I just recently got a new phone. I've been looking at what's been happening on the news. Like I said, with all of the, the riots and stuff. And I am very, very worried for the safety of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris because I would hate for something like that to have to happen during the inauguration because the inauguration is like 11 days away. And if somebody pulls something, I know that the Secret Service said that they are going to be increasing security for that, but I'm still very, very worried because I would not want either of them to be harmed. I don't care how many, you know, what kind of opinions people have against them. I don't care how bad people think that they are. They still don't deserve to be harmed, period. And I, I just, 
can't believe that Nathan's mother is still free. That they haven't been able to track her down somehow. And yeah. California. As I said before, they better not give him a lenient sentence. They better give him a very, very long sentence. Because if he is out sooner than we expect, it's not going to be... It's, it's just... It's not going to be good. So... Like I said, California judge better give him a long sentence. Better give him life in prison with without the possibility of parole. I will continue to upload when I'm able to. Another reason that I haven't been able, you know, I haven't really been uploading is because I honestly just don't even know what to make videos on half the time. So that's kind of why I slack with uploads. But... I will try my best to continue to make videos. Make sure you guys subscribe and follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter. They're in my about. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.